There's a closer look at the area of concern. A concrete wall is leaning at the top of this high rise, and the worry is that it could topple over. All of this right now playing out on Tehama Street in San Francisco's south of Market neighborhood. Firefighters getting the call around 2:45 this afternoon. The uh, support strut has failed it's on the uh, approximately 30th floor, and they want to evacuate the north exposure building. The problem now has been traced back to a serious issue with a construction crane. Our coverage begins with KPX 5's Andrea Borba on the construction emergency. Andrea? Well, San Francisco Fire, they just wrapped up a news conference right now and they said there is no imminent danger at this moment. They say that the crane has been shored up, the concrete slab has been shored up at this point, and there is no imminent danger to the surrounding neighborhood. But there have been new things that we have learned in this press conference, including that the Fremont Street exit off of the Bay Bridge has been closed at this point to traffic so they can get fire crews in and out of here and engineers and whatever heavy equipment they might need to to help shore up this building and figure out what their next step is at this point. We have some video for you right now from Chopper 5 at the top of this building. This is 41 Tehama. It was under construction. It began in 2015. Now, what we learned earlier is that one of nine struts underneath that crane failed sometime this afternoon, causing all of the problems. Here is the San Francisco Fire Department. While they were uh, putting it in a position for it to continue its operation. A strut that holds up one of the portions of the crane, a 30 ton crane, failed and leaned the crane towards the northeast direction. Everybody is looking up. Let me show you what they're looking at. Now, they are flying in a structural engineer right now from Washington State. We really got some information in the past few minutes from the building company behind this project at 41 Tehama. They say it happened between levels 35 and 36, where an interior forming system had a partial hydraulic failure while it was being raised to the next level. The interior forming system and the concrete placement arm have been secured and are being evaluated by engineers. Now, we know that there were no injuries or damage reported from this incident at 41 Tehama right now. I have some family members who happen to be plumbers inside that building. They were sent home early. Only the engineers who were necessary, Liz and Alan, Veronica and Alan, are they are the only ones on site right now working on this, trying to figure out what the next steps is to shore this thing up. All right, that entire area has been evacuated. Andrea Borbo, we appreciate the update. Thank you. Just minutes ago, we learned that 16 other buildings in the area have been evacuated, including six on Howard, two on Tehama Street, and one on 2nd Street. Most of those are office buildings. Our team coverage continuing with KPI X5's Susie Steimel and the people who were quickly ordered to get out of there. Susie? Well, Alan, if you are familiar with traffic in Soma, as I know you are, you know it's usually a nightmare right around this hour. Tonight, it's only going to be worse. We've got to look at that for you. As you approach Howard Street on 2nd, people are being diverted because of these street closures, and it is people are being advised to stay away from this area if at all possible. It's also been just as much of an inconvenience as it has been a spectacle. People are lining up along the street corners as they've been told to evacuate from their buildings throughout the day, sort of watching and wondering what's going on. There's a lot of confusion as people are being asked to come down here if they are impacted and they are owners of those buildings. That's what the fire department is wanting people to do. You are taking a live look at Howard Street here rare to see it this empty and there are a number of people who are wondering if they will be able to enter work tonight some of the people who work in bars along here and restaurants and if they will be able to return to work tomorrow we caught up with some of them just a little bit ago I think it's mostly a little bit of confusion, a little frustration. I know some folks who were uh, right in the end of their work day and finishing up and were asked to leave, and I know a few people are parked down there still, so uh, I think people are concerned about maybe their personal belongings being left back there, but I think a lot of folks here are just now sitting and waiting. Don't have my keys, I don't have my wallet, um, everything is inside except for my phone <laughs> and my computer, so <laughs> at least I can Uber home, I guess. And one of the updates that we did hear from the fire department just moments ago was that if you are affiliated as an owner or manager in one of these 16 buildings, they want you to come to Howard in second so they can work out a time frame as to when people might be able to go back to work tomorrow.
We're live in San Francisco. Susie Steimel, KPIX5. Back to you. Going to be a long process. We're getting a better look at the area of concern. We obtained these photos taken from a neighboring building. Clearly, you see the crane and the platform it's sitting on tilting there. And from this other shot, we can see the concrete form of the wall that was being lifted into position when one of those nine struts under the crane failed. This is what the apartment building is supposed to look like once construction is done. According to their website, it will be 35 stories tall with more than 400 units. Now, as Andrea mentioned earlier, the Fremont off ramp from the Bay Bridge has been closed to keep cars out of that area. And another live look at that high rise as experts work to assess the situation there. We're going to have another update for you straight ahead at 6 30.